Hey everybody, this is Michael Waddell, gonna give you a little bit on pecan farming 101. And if you look behind me right here, this is pretty much the typical southern pecan plantation or farm. We like to call this Downton Dixie because actually one of our favorite series was Downton Abbey. And so this place is kind of our southern version of what they had over there, I think. But right behind me, you'll see I got a bunch of targets out here. So that's my number one job is I hunt for a living. So I got to come out here and practice. So not all orchards have a you know, a 3D target set up out there, but uh, we do. But when we bought this place, the orchard was really grown up, so it took a lot of, you know, bush hogging and getting it up to par. Uh, we had to fertilize it. We had to start the spraying process to get these trees put back in shape. These trees here that you see behind me, most of these are Stewart's. Uh, up on the hill, I got slides, seedlings. I got a pecan called a money maker, as well as a pecan called a uh, mayhan. So a lot of different varieties. It took me a while to kind of figure out which ones are what. And if you see these trees right here, they're Stewart's. Probably one of the best money making pecans. A real hardy nut. Uh, that strand of pecan is really popular all over the South, especially as you get down to South Georgia. You know, Thomasville, Georgia, and a little bit north, up to about a couple hours north of that. So. I've learned a lot and I'm learning that number one, it's called a pecan. Now, I don't know if it's pecan or pecan, but I've learned everybody down south that farms for a living, that makes a lot of money, they say they sell pecans. And I've seen the chicks, some of them are big. I'm trying to get there and I'm just gonna show you how we do it, but they call them pecans. So if they're making that kind of money, I'm gonna call them pecans too. And you'll know why, because this equipment ain't cheap. I'll show it to you. Here's a few of the toys that make this uh, pecan orchard work. One is, man, I got an old beat up old bulldozer. I love that thing. Actually, when I first bought it, I only had about six acres and it didn't take me long, man. I'd come home board on a trip and I'd push down every tree I had. So now I got a little bit more spread so I can use it to build rows and stuff. And right here behind me is probably one of the most important pieces uh, that we use. This is during the spring and summer months. Uh, there's a lot of spraying that goes on in pecan farming. And so there's a big fan in this particular sprayer and it blows the different kind of pesticides, miticide, fungicides up in the tree, as well as foliage uh, fertilizer, you know, like zinc is really important. And there's a lot of different things you can actually get way up in the tree. And you'll see some of these trees, man, they're way up there, 150 foot tall. And so uh, I got to spray that spray way up in there. So obviously I got more than just goes on the ground. We got our own formula liquid fertilizer we've been using. And you can see right here, this is a water spout that actually I tapped in and my dad and I used this to fill the big, you know, a thousand gallon sprayer. Um, we got a diesel tank on site, more fertilizer, different sprayers, hairs. Here is the pecan harvester here. Um, this is a really cool piece of equipment. It's basically like a vacuum cleaner. I just pull it right behind my tractor. Uh, I shake the trees and I'll show you that here in a second. And then we come and we pick up all the pecans with this piece of equipment. They go in this particular hopper and then we dump them right into a cleaner that's sitting right over here. So y'all come look at this. This is my cleaner. We just pushed it back in its slot where it goes in the barn. That from that harvester, it dumps the load into here. And there's a small elevator that runs it up here. And this particular cleaner here, based on airflow and a big engine, it blows out all the trash and all the pecans that might be, you know, have worms in them or too light or maybe just rotted. And then they come out on the table and you just sit here and you grade these out based on uh, having people looking at them and just hand grading them out if there's rocks or sticks. And then from there, they go into a bucket and then we dump them into what we call super sacks. And here is the final product of pecans. Now, this is the last load we got. This is a mixed bag of pecans. You can see some money makers in there, seedlings. There's a few uh, Stewart pecans in there. But this is the bags. Each one of these bags that you see here is gonna be around a thousand pounds up to 1200 pounds my dentist is so mad at me when he sees me doing that but there you'll see a big old pretty georgia pecan this particular pecan that's a sly i'm sorry that's a stewart pecan but one of the better pecans to eat and that right there is a beautiful pecan so a lot of the pecans that you get that you put in your pies all across the country, a lot of them come from Georgia. So uh, I'm proud to be a Georgia pecan farmer. So this particular piece of equipment is the pecan shaker. And I'm telling you, when people ride by and they see this thing running, 
all the kids freak out and everybody kind of likes it. It's just a big, huge beast of a machine with a big roll cage. It's got a V8 engine in it, runs off gas. Hydraulics that run this big grappler here that I can go up and down, side to side, tilt it any kind of different direction, grab most any size tree and just shake the fire out of it. So it's got a shake lever and you better hold on. You'll go home at night and you're shaking like this, like you've been at the disco. So this is a really cool piece of equipment. And it's really handy because when the pecan's ready to fall out, you can get this hooked up and shake them out so you can harvest them. So this is a step right before you actually run the harvester to pick up the pecans. It's unbelievable to see what this thing can do. And it's a big vital piece of equipment if you're in the pecan business. And that's just a little bit about what we do. And I'm still a rookie at it. My wife and I are learning and we've been having a good time at this pecan farm and I've always thought pecan orchards are beautiful so it's been a blessing to own one and if you like this video about this pecan farm and stuff like that be sure to check out xmart.com backyard to find out more cool videos from other partners of xmart and they're bringing a lot of different things in the rural lifestyle from lawn and garden all the way to pecan farming so y'all take care check out the link and I hope I will see y'all soon